Louisiana Beer Reviews, Arizona Premium Spiked Beverage, excuse me, Beverage, Original Arizona Premium Spiked Beverage, Hard Real Brewed Green Tea with Ginseng Flavor and Honey. Introduced in the USA in 2023, but they actually introduced a version of this in Canada three years prior to that. Uh, and it's a vodka base. But here we're getting a malt beverage. Now I saw some video reviews. I didn't watch them. I just saw them listed. And people were saying this was a seltzer. It's not a seltzer beer. Those are made with cane sugar. It's a cane sugar beer. Beer of malt substitute. This says malt beverage with natural flavors. Which means it contains barley malt and hops. May contain corn or rice also as an adjunct. But it must contain barley malt and hops. Licensed under the authority of Beverage Marketing USA, Woodbury, New York, but the owner is Hornell Brewing Company, and then produced and bottled, yeah, bottled, with a company in New Jersey, Florida, Wisconsin, California, Pennsylvania, Irwindale, California. So I, I recognize some of these, Irwindale, La Crosse, Wisconsin, that's a city brewing, Auburndale, Florida is Florida. Caribbean Distillers, Wilkes-Barre, I think is Lion Brewery, Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, uh, Santa Clarita, California, and Keysby, I think that's Keysby, New Jersey, I don't know what's there, I, I'm going to have to look up what breweries or dis facilities are there. Never had this before, I've been seeing it for a number of years, and I haven't seen singles, so I was reluctant to buy it without being able to get a single, and secondly, I was thinking, oh, they're going to say made with sucralose or something, but no. Looks like they're using real sugar. I can deal with that. This is the, the common one you see all the time in the big gallon plastic jugs, the green tea with ginseng flavor and ginseng flavor and honey. Okay, so what is a beer mixed with tea going to taste like? Well, I guess you could find out with a lot of different offerings. There's the Twisted Tea from Boston Beer Company and Everybody's in on it. Now there's a Lipton version, but I haven't seen those around here. I did a, uh, what you call it, uh, <coughs> find this product, and they didn't have it listed in our area within 100 miles. So uh, something in the air has gotten in my nose and lungs. Uh, I think it's pollen, but I can still smell, but there's not much aroma here. Nah. Yeah, there's not much happening on aroma. The appearance is kind of greenish, yellow type of thing. Let's go with the taste. Cheers. These were expensive, so I don't even want to talk about the price. It's not a 24 ounce can. It's a bomber, a 22 ounce. Remember when craft beer was all, all in the bombers? getting shorted two ounces because two regular beers should be 24 right they say it's made of real tea and it tastes like it real tea sugar uh, ginseng I guess I don't know what that's supposed to taste like honestly I'll just tell you the truth um, sometimes people tout the health benefits of ginseng uh, there's even a wild Irish rose with ginseng, that orange banner, which I tried, which actually tasted pretty good. Um, honey, yeah. So like, it's a little bit of sugar. It's not like southern sweet tea, which goes above and beyond what it should have. It's a little bit of honey. Like the ginseng, I don't know what to comment on that. That's like a root, right? Um, it's got the bitterness from tea. I doubt it would have any bitterness from hops. Those are usually filtered out. They just want a beer base. Just like they want it to taste the same as the vodka based in Canada. So they want the beer to have no flavor, basically. And there's a way they can process that beer to where it will have no hop character or hopefully no malt character. 
and all the flavor will come from that flavoring, which in this case is what I've just described. Uh, medium body. Now see, there's an undertaste. See, a lot of times I can't mask it. Though. There's a there's a pale malt underbody. It's just sneaking through, sneaking through a little bit, a little bread crust. Pale, pale, pale. Or I think up north they call it light bread. People here say white bread. Uh, the best my date is saying, I think 2025. Yeah, December 2025. Um, Hornell Brewing. They make a lot of money with Arizona tea. If I'm on a road trip, I used to buy those for 99 cents. These cans for 99 cents. I don't know what they cost now. It always tasted pretty good. They also produce a beer not flavored or maybe I should say they have a beer produced for them the original crazy stallion malt liquor brewed by Hornell Brewing La Crosse Wisconsin yeah Ferrolito Voltaggio and Sons that's right uh, I think something happened with the family and they got in a big dispute so that name is no longer around if, if I remember reading right so it's just Hornell today. Uh, this was originally called Crazy Horse. Crazy Horse Malt Liquor. But some problems happened there with the name. So they changed it to Crazy Stallion. I have purchased this yeah, since 1992. I purchased this in New York City. Can and big bottle here. Can is the same design. Just has the, the can. The can is this color. The turquoise with the on, on it. Uh, it was awful. <laughs> It's a really bad regular beer. And I was thinking they ought to stick to tea and I guess flavored beer. Now how is this one tasting? Oh, any sediment? Don't see any. The bitterness from the tea is fine. Gives it an indication of tea. Honey, not, but like I'm saying, everything is too low. It tastes like a nice water drink, but the the sweetness is a little low. The honey is too low. The ginseng, like I said, I don't know. So my complaint here is not that there's anything off-putting or offensive or stomach turning. So if I watch videos where people are talking about it's horrible, I think I'm going to throw up. I gotta spit it out. Oh, and they're all doing all these antics. I'm going to know that's put on because there's nothing like that with this. Now, if they get on there and talk about it's kind of bland. Or it's dull or whatever. Okay. I agree. So I'm a little disappointed. I'm actually very disappointed because I paid too much. Well, I'll tell you the price. After, after tax... For three of these cans, I got three flavors. It was twelve oh seven. Now I know four times three is twelve, but you know it wasn't just seven cents tax, so it was outrageous though, because these cans should really should be no more than like two seventy five a can, I think. But I could have saved money getting a variety pack and would have been stuck with twelve. Hopefully 12 ounce cans. Sometimes they drop it to 11.2. Bad deal. Um, yeah, the sweetener is natural. You could tell, but uh, it just doesn't. And there's too much of a bread undertaste. There's too much bread, meaning beer, which it is a beer technically, but. Um, it's supposed to taste like iced tea. So I'm going to give it a... I think... I'm going to give it a C plus. 78. It's not really good. It's av high average. But it won't be hard to drink. It's not like, oh, i got to choke it down. No, that would be a D. If you, gotta have, if you can get it down, but you got to choke it down, and you hate it, and every taste is terrible, that's a D. Bad. Poor. Horrible. If you can't drink it, that's, that's an F. Undrinkable. Those happen 
they're very rare these days, it used to be more common, but uh, there aren't too many F products on the market. But uh, C, becoming rarer, but uh, yeah, it's the best I can do, so okay Hornell, we'll see what happens with the other two. I think, I didn't even look at what the flavors were, I just grabbed the three different colors. I grabbed the colors. No, but uh, look like one was peach. So I don't know, cause I don't care. That's the thing. It's just I know what these flavored things are like. They're interesting, but I wasn't that like bought into it. But I did like the Arizona canned teas. I'll be honest about that. <coughs> man, oh man. Yes, it is a premium. Now, they, they didn't have to change the label, really. See, premium spike beverage. In Canada, it's spiked with vodka. Who's vodka? I don't know. In the United States, maybe some states is vodka, but most of the states here, it's spiked with malt beverage. In uh, other words, beer. Okay, so C+, plus, and hopefully the next two will be better. We'll see in the next one. Well, maybe I'll do one a week. So, les les bon temps relay. And I'm going to end this review by saying you go to any one of those many places and take a, brewer, a brewery tour.